Getting a decent job today is hard. It's made even harder if you're unable to prove two things. You know the right person and you have the right skills. How can you prove that you have the right skills if they don't even give you a chance? You're not even given an opportunity by the hiring manager. One of the ways is by pursuing a certification or a certificate. And there are hundreds of companies right now that are willing to exchange your money for a piece of paper. But today I'm focusing on free certificates. This video is sponsored by SkillUp, the free learning platform with over 500 courses and certificates that you can earn online today. We're talking about certificates in AI, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, data science, project management. There, there are about 40% of the IT jobs in this country today, they don't require a traditional four-year college degree, but you still need to know the skills. Same thing in the federal government. If you were looking for a federal job right now, you wanted to get into IT, IT management. That's the 2210 job series. Almost none of those positions that exist, and there's a lot, there's dozens if not hundreds, none of them have a hard educational requirement. But you still have to prove that you know the skills. Look at project management. Everyone knows PMP is the gold standard, right? But there are project managers in the federal workforce that do not need a PMP. But how do you show you have the necessary skills to thrive in that position? Well, you can put it on your resume, but what's even better is bringing it up in the interview room. When they ask you that question, what have you done lately to improve yourself? You can tell that story. Same thing with networking. They're asking you, what have you done? You're in IT, that's your field. What have you done lately? You talk about, hey, I, done, I did this course, I went ahead and I read, I read these books. I look at my portfolio. I developed these applications. It's all right there. So it's really easy to get started. You head to simplylearn.com slash skill up. Link is in the description down below. Click sign up. On the first screen, you click browse all. You will see the course categories from software development to digital marketing and even project management. Let's say you're interested in project management. You want the PMP certification. You know that you have to fill out an application and pay money to sit for the PMP. You also have to prove you have so many hours actually managing projects. But in order to prepare yourself, you can find a lot of options. And I'm talking about dozens, if not hundreds. You can find boot camp options that claim to prepare you in order to be successful during the exam. You could pay for something like that, upwards of $500. I've seen some for over $1,000. You could do that, or you could go to SkillUp, look at some of their free courses. Like, look, check this one out, for example. This is what I'm talking about. It's at the beginner level. This is a PMP basics course. It covers nine hours of training, and it includes material on project planning, which will be on the actual exam. After course completion, you'll get a certificate. It looks a little something like this. There's even a knowledge check towards the end of the course. So they're basically checking on learning to make sure that you learned, that you retained the information. Now, before you jump and decide to take the PMP exam, you need to understand that if you're a project manager, you still need to have an industry that you're specialized in. So that could be healthcare, it could be construction, finance, doesn't necessarily matter what industry, but you need to have experience in that. I've seen far too many people come out of the military and they sit for the PMP exam, but they don't have a direction. They don't have a goal when it comes to their career or what job they would like to pursue because they haven't asked themselves that question. What industry am I in? Now, keep in mind, there are also some paid options on SkillUp. You can find some certificates in partnership with Microsoft or CompTIA or even PMI. There is a menu option where you can actually select free courses and you can browse a wide variety of those type of courses. If your goal is to reinforce your knowledge or to learn new skills, learn new information about a certain industry, if that's the goal, you can accomplish that goal without even spending a dollar on this website. Let's do another example. Let's say you want to work on some programming skills. Check this course out. Python for Beginners. 
It's 11 hours, self-paced, and you earn a certificate upon completion. This course is completely free. Now, sure, there are plenty of videos on YouTube where you can just watch the video and you can learn a little bit of Python. But what you have here is a structured curriculum. There are actually, it tells you how long each lesson will be. A lot of times they include free eBooks so you can have a greater depth of understanding when you're going through the material. Towards the end of the course, you are given interview questions. This basically can help you understand what could be asked to you during a job interview, and then the course gives you the answers. When it comes to the job search, you're always looking for ways to stand out, to showcase your skills. You're looking for your edge. Now, I believe deeply that it comes down to your experience. The individual that has the most experience or the best experience that aligns with that role, they should always get the job. But you know, as well as I know, some hiring managers, they have a subconscious bias. They believe that higher education is the only way. Some people agree with that. Some people do not agree with that. There are hiring managers that put a premium on certifications. So if they see multiple certificates that show you're trying to maintain your edge, you're trying to constantly be proficient in whatever skill set that you possess, they look at that as a good thing. This is even when the certificate is not mentioned on that job listing at all. It's not mandatory. It's not even under the desirable column. This is why so many people, they are trying to prove they're doing all that they can within their industry to improve themselves. Now, whatever way you decide to go, whether you want to do courses, certificates, you want to pursue the next college degree, whatever it is, I believe everyone should first look at the free options. There's a big reason why the certificate industry in our country last year, this year, it's over $2 billion. They're making so much money off of paying for certifications. You do not need to do that the majority of the time. You can still showcase your desire and your proficiency by attaining certificates if that's something that you would want to do. Put it on your resume. Talk about it during the interview. That's all fine, but look at the free options first. I believe what SkillUp has done here is they've created a great solution in this industry. If your goal is to attain free courses, free information, free knowledge, and free certificates, you can do that all here. There's really nothing to risk. You sign up with some basic information. There's no high pressure sales technique where they're constantly trying to upcharge you. That doesn't exist unless you're looking specifically to pay for a course. If you stay in the free course section, you're not going to be facing any type of upsell. So I believe this is a great solution because there's some people that although the job might not require a certificate, they're looking for something. They're looking for some way in order to convince the mind of the hiring manager that they're the right candidate. So if that's you, if that describes you, I would seriously consider it. Every certificate that I've ever received, it was done through self-study. I've never paid money for a boot camp. I studied the material myself, which is what you could do on this website, and I sat for the test. And a lot of times I had to pay for that test. Or you could try to have your employer pay for that test. If this seems like something that you can benefit from or you know somebody that this could benefit them, check out the first pinned comment down below or look for the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.